Now we do this on a nano texture one. You can see that it's showing just that diffuse light. It's not really showing this clear like source that is just, you know, extremely bright. I can move this around in multiple different direction. However, it is still that diffuse light. Similarly, this is on your typical matted panel from other display manufacturers. You can see that it's kind of a little bit more glossy in a way, even though this is matted and not as reflective. And lastly, if we do this on the nano matted panel, you can see pretty much the light coming out as diffused right there. But I mean, there's still just one spot that you can see, but you can't really see the light source. So for this last demo, I'll be using a handheld camera along with my iPhone flashlight because this is a very small singular point LED light. And I think that's pretty good. We're going to start out with the 16 inch MacBook Pro. And for this, what I'm going to do is point this towards the screen and bring my iPhone in. So the iPhone is pretty much just hovering onto the side there. And you can see how this is pretty much reflecting a lot of the light itself. You can see the light source on the screen, even though that's actually overexposed right now. And as I'm moving this up and down, you can see exactly the shape of this light. So this is the one thing about a glossy display to be aware of. Now let's move over to the nano texture. You can see that on the nano texture, it's diffusing that light a lot more. And to the human vision,